I would now like to introduce our senior class officers and student council representatives. Senior class president, Alexandra Peterson. <laughs> senior class vice president, Ernest Pereira. Senior class secretary, Ashnika Barre. Senior class treasurer, Alexander Pereira. Stuco vice president, Sayang Han. Stuco treasurer, Alexander Storm. Seventeen or eighteen years ago, we, the Bull Valley North class of 2018, were born into the world. Joining out of the elusive 90s club in 1999 or the third millennium in 2000. With enough diapers to build a 12 foot tower, and seven cries for a cuddling that woke up our parents at three in the morning, we survived taller foot. We grew up, maybe too quickly, to begin the first year of our education, making friends with each other, and encountering this peculiar discharge called homework that will track us for the rest of our school career. Soon enough, we were ready for a middle school, where we got to decorate our own lockers, learn to live by the bell schedule, and we slowly began to discover ourselves and our passions. With high school musicals setting unrealistic expectations for high school for us, we just couldn't wait to begin the next chapter of our lives here at North. We kicked off our first year with Vince Allen being the first ever to beat Stubbs in the annual race. After that, we experienced one first after another. Our first day brought confusion with trying to navigate the school, anxiety for what the teachers would be like, but above all, excitement for the opportunities that were yet to come. Our first school dance taught us to shake off all the haters, and our first finals without being able to use note cards showed us what true stress is. The first football game revealed the real meaning of heartbreak when it ended in a loss. And the horrors continued with freshman PE and the excessive PDA. <laughs> Despite all of that, we'll never forget the feeling of freedom that made us excited for the rest of our time at North. When sophomore year came, we were no longer the youngest class at BBM. We were no longer stuck in the back for sporting events, and many of us started to drive to school. We had our first few academic struggles as our classes became more demanding than ever before, but we let these difficulties form us into students ready for any challenge. Along with these new experiences and opportunities here in Kansas, our class was making a presence on the other side of the globe as the band performed in London for the New Year's Parade. While it was a busy, While it was a busy but memorable year, we all made it through, and we're officially halfway done with our time here at Blue Valley North. <laughs> Sophomore year to junior year was an interesting transition. The excitement from going to, from underclassmen to upperclassmen gave us confidence like no other. We are now competing with the big bad seniors and no, were no longer associated with the young troublemaking freshmen. We had new opportunities to become more involved with the given privileges of being an upper, upperclassman, such as prom, standing in the front at sporting events, parking closer to the school, sitting on the other side of the gym, and getting to sit in the middle of the lunchroom. It was a shock, but we adjusted accordingly. As the future became a reality, we started thinking more about our lives after high school. We started looking forward to the second half of our high school career as upperclassmen. junior year brought with it greater challenges and new responsibility. Graduation didn't seem so far away anymore. 
We tried to keep this in mind as the pressure from grades and workload increased. Junior year may be known as the absolute worst year of high school, but that's also what makes it one of the most rewarding. Looking back, that year was our first real opportunity to start growing into the type of people that we truly wanted to be. We started to think about college, we went to prom, we became leaders in our teams and clubs, and we finally began to see where all our hard work was taking us. We as the class of 2018 have undertaken a lot of challenges in the last four years. We have all worked to maintain grades, to evolve ourselves in a wide array of activities, and to grow in one another. When junior year ended, we had accomplished what we had believed to be one of the most challenging academic years of all. But in the months following, we had to say goodbye to a beloved classmate, a tragic loss that affected many of us deeply. Though every one of these challenges the class of 2018 has endured, it becomes stronger and more united. As the year draws to a close, we can look back and take pride in all that we have achieved and overcome. The class of 2018 holds football and tennis state championships as well as nine perfect ACT scores and 45 National Merit semifinalists and commended students. We have celebrated together at dances, tailgates, games, other clubs and activities too many to count. Now we celebrate one last time as the class of 2018 as we forge our own trails for the future. Looking back on the last four years, we should all be proud of how united we are, and we should look forward to a future where incredible opportunities await us. And soon, we will be high school graduates. And the million dollar question, no, not why is guac extra at Chipotle, the answer to which is capitalism, by the way. Rather, the million dollar question we have all been asked a lot recently. What's your plan after high school? to which most of us answer with a college name, workforce, military, trade school, and so much more. But why is that one question dreaded the most by, by all high school seniors? Is it because of the uncertainty of our futures, or is it because we are back to square one, freshmen in college, except this time with a high school diploma in our hands? Fortunately, in our community, high school graduation is the norm because of which oftentimes it, is, it isn't considered a great achievement. Nonetheless, high school graduation is a major step in the journey of our lives, one that deserves to be recognized for its immense significance, and it is an act not only of personal commitment, but also one of pride. A high school diploma opens many doors of opportunities that must not be overlooked, but graduation is not an end goal in itself. It is instead a part, of the, a part of a larger journey of life. Our graduation should serve as a launching point, projecting us to wherever our futures are meant to take us. And nothing could have prepared us better for those futures than Blue Valley North, the best in the state.